Oh shit! Oh shit! I found something of value! I found something of value! Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to Mirakira. Yeah, that's right, I did a different intro. Enjoy. But, today we are playing Seven Days to Die once again. And, I really forgot to name this series, or at least this big first, I guess, series. Because it is a series, but it's essentially my first real Seven Days to Die series. I just named it Hell for the hell of it, because why the hell not? That's literally what I just came up with, with like the last few seconds of the first video. And I just dealt with it, and that was fine. So now this series is, is either just called Hell or Hell on Earth. Personally, I don't care. It really depends on which one I remember to put into the title of the videos. It's either going to be Hell or Hell on Earth. Either way, it's Hell, so enjoy this Hell of a Hell of a Hell. And my food and water are kind of low. I think they're both at 83. Uh, yes, they're both at 83, which means I need to eat. Here's the issue. I have one can of chili. I have no bottles of water besides bottled murky water. I don't have any cooking pots or anything. Oh, wait, no, I have one bottled water, so let me drink that. I give rid Put that away, put that away. I have, yeah, I have a gun on me. I'll get rid of that stone shovel. Don't need it anymore. I have engines. I have a whole bunch of stuff. But I don't have really any water or food besides some old sham sandwiches. So I'm going to eat one and, you know, take the 12% risk. Because, frankly, I have another world of seven days to die where I've eaten many, many sham sandwiches, and I've never gotten food poisoning yet. But I think I should finally get to the point of this video. And not, not really the point, but, you know, what I'm going to be doing. As you know, as you just saw, basically, I don't have really any food or water. So I need to go looting again. Screw zombies, screw hunting. I need to just loot houses. And you know, there's a house right in front of my place. So we're just gonna loot this and we're gonna hope it's good. I don't hear anything yet, but that's probably gonna change real soon. Oh, that, yep, I changed real soon. I don't have surround sound right now, so I got, I'm just gonna hope. Oh boy, hi. Hello, there's two of you. Smack you, smack you. Boop. Well, they were nice house greeters, weren't they? Whew! Exploded his head in one shot. Whew, wow. Whew! I just got a junk turret. I know I say whew a lot. Kind of maxes out my microphone a bit, but I finally got a junk turret. To be honest, I've never really used one, so I don't know how good it is. There's nothing up there. Okay. Alright. Got a wall oven that has cooking pot and a cooking grill. That's awesome. And I got a grandpa's moonshine recipe. Totally gonna make use of that, never. Really, game? Really? I can't search the toaster. That's all I want from Seven Days to Die. That's the only thing I want. I just want to be able to search the toaster. I just want to find toast, bread, moldy bread. Come on. You put a toaster in the game for a reason. Let us search the dang toaster. So I just searched the entire kitchen of this house. I said kitchen. Eh, whatever. I said it wrong. I don't care. I got some moldy bread. Delicious. I got some bottled water. I'm gonna drink that. Got some old sham. I got a can of stock. I'm gonna eat that. Kind of actually just clearing out my inventory right now. Just kind of eating everything. Which is fine for me. And I'm going to destroy this house. I'm going to loot everything I can. But I'm pretty sure there's zombies upstairs. And that's not a good sign if there's a hole in the roof. Oh boy. Whew! Yeah! I said whoo again! Enjoy! Got a marksman rifle schematic. I'll never even craft it, but I did get some uh, pipe bombs. We might have some fun in this episode. I don't need these pipe bombs for Horde Night. I don't need junk turret right now. You know what we're going to use these pipe bombs for. Just wait and see. Am I crazy, or am I the only one seeing this light flickering? 
I've never actually seen this in Seven Days to Die before. It, like, flickers. But not when I... It, okay, it actually, it is flickering when I look at it. I've never seen that before. It's actually kind of cool. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. I have to just kind of walk across these rafters and drop into a random room. That's not right, is it? Is that where I'm supposed to go? That's that's the only place this house has taken me. I don't think this was a good house to start looting. I mean, I did get some food, but besides that, it doesn't seem like it's worth it. Okay. Oh, oh, it's kind of worth it. It's kind of worth it. Okay, we gotta fight. Oh boy. Get down. Whew. Yeah, I'm not good at fighting yet. I'm not used to using clubs. Okay? Don't judge me. There we go. Okay. I landed on a car. I landed more, I think, in the hood of the car. What's here? Something. I, that's not stone. Hold up. This is not stone. I am... That's not stone. Okay, that's clearly wood, but it's acting like stone. Got it. Seven days to die. Still has weird te messed up textures. But, you know, I got... It looks like I got some good stuff. I have a workbench right across my house, which is insanely useful. So we're gonna put, I guess here, workbench. I would put the B word, but I don't want to try and censor that. Also, this is locked. I'm hoping I can break into that with my lockpicks, because I only have three. Haha! -ha! We broke into the chest. First try. Let's see what it's got. I'm slightly disappointed. I mean, I got a hunting rifle and some ammo. I got better gloves, even though I just finally got gloves, so I guess I'll scrap those. I got a book. Shots to the leg with arrows or bolts slow your opponent. That's a waste. Don't aim for the legs. Pistol Pete, Volume 4. 9mm weapons degrade 20% slower. Thank you, I guess I'll take that. Scrap that. Oh, weapon flashlight mod. Oh my goodness. I'll take it. Put that there. Perfect. I actually haven't found one of these before and I forgot that they existed. Now I have light. Now I can maybe do more stuff at night because you guys can see what I'm doing at night. I also need to break out of here. I actually don't know what part of the house I'm in. So this is going to be a fun adventure. Well, it led here. Let's break those. Yep, mound of garbage. Nope, don't want that. Uh, we're okay. Well, I guess I don't have to travel very far to take my loot back home now, do I? Alright, we got our campfire. I can finally start, you know, making food and things that will help me survive. Put the cooking pot and cooking grill in there. And take this bottle of murky water. Throw it in there. I have enough wood. I should be able to make bottled water. Yes. Yes. I do not need that much wood. Jeez, I only needed one. Alright, we got seven bottles cooking up. Anything else I can make with. I can't do anything, I don't think. I don't have meat. I could make bacon and eggs, but I don't have meat, and I don't have actual... I don't have levels to even cook that, I don't think. Oh, I do. Well, it's gonna be something smart, then. Where is it? It's not physician. It is... Fortitude? Uh... No, where is it? Master Chef. We already have it. Never mind. I forgot. We're gonna get Pack Mule, because I need three more inventory spaces. And we should probably get something useful. Like, probably this. I can make a bicycle one day. We'll work on that eventually. I don't currently need to make a bicycle. Because there's a secret with the bicycle, actually. In my specific game or computer. The bicycle does not work properly. I mean, it severely lags my game whenever I use it and it pretty much stops the recording 
entirely until I have to like get out of the game and get back in. So yeah, getting a bicycle in this world is going to be fun for you and me. And I see my next loot target right there. Let's go and hopefully not die. This is a one life series by the way. I don't think I said that first episode. If I die, it's over. So let's try not to die. Okay, so I just threw my spear, and as you can see, it's kind of just sitting here, and I'm kind of slightly mad about it, so I think I'm just gonna light this and chuck it, and I don't remember how to light it. Ah, uh, oh boy, Ugh. Oh. okay, I definitely got the kill. Yeah, I don't want to see that, okay, that did nothing. That actually did, like, no block damage. At least, it didn't destroy any blocks. Well, that was disappointing. That was really disappointing. Kind of sad now. And this wine cellar doesn't even have anything. It does. Oh, wait. It does have stuff. It has stuff. I don't like this. I really don't like this. What's here? Nothing of value. It's medical stuff. <sighs> okay. I don't trust that floor. What is this? I don't trust this floor. I don't like this. Oh! Run across it quickly. Okay, we're good. And I can long shot that. Ah, oh, that dipped down farther than I thought it would. But we're good. We're good. Oh. Ooh, I think I found some of the good loot. It's in there, but it's behind a locked door. Oh, I think I'll have to come back to this one another day, but I gotta finish killing off mainly this guy. Done. So this place was interesting, but I really don't think I'm essentially the right level to take this kind of place on, so I'm gonna save it as, I guess, like, I'm gonna say Wine Cellar, and we're just gonna try and remember that that has probably good loot downstairs. I just don't really have the stuff to go get it right now, and I see a deer, and I have a pistol. We're gonna kill this deer with a pistol. I killed it with a pistol. Nice. Alright, deer, come here. I need your meat. Really? I just got it. I got that right in time. And, yeah, no. My meat, you stay back. Stay off. There we go. Can't eat now if you don't have a head piece of garbage I think I found the next place that I'm going to loot and it's a church now many of you may be thinking oh that's immoral how dare you it's a church it's religious it's holy number one it's a video game two I would do it in real life because I need to survive if the place might have resources, I'm going to loot it so I can continue to live. I don't know if that's unholy or not, but I think survival is important. And I keep getting these bag drops today, like, wow. 
And I got an iron spear. That is significantly better than a stone spear. All right, vitamins, I don't care about. Great heist, I can learn cr to craft timed charges. Don't know what that is, sounds like explosives. And I will replace the modifier of this one, uh, get off of that one and put it on this one, yes. Why? Because that one has more durability by a significant number. And now, we break into the church. Once again, it sounds wrong. Technically isn't, for several, for, well, not several reasons, for a couple of reasons. It's a video game. Oh, hi. Did not see you there. I definitely looked on the wrong side. All right, you didn't survive long. I hear more zombies though, but I don't see them. Oh, I see one. Wow. I've really missed. I have a lot of bullets. It's worth it. Oh boy, there was a, okay, there was another one. There was one hiding. I mean, I can take care of it as easy as that, but, you know, sometimes a nice little warning is, it's nice. I don't need any of that stuff. Chest, nothing. Why is it red? I don't remember chest being able to be that color, but it looks nice. Well, this church was kind of disappointing. Where did you come from? This church was pretty disappointing. There was not really much here. There were a few recipes, or schematics, whatever you want to call them. That was about it. And I think a little bit of food. Yeah, a little bit of food. I'll eat the blueberries. I don't need them. But, it also gave me a challenge that says kill some male zombies. But I have to head to a rally point that is over half a kilometer away. Screw that. I'm not going there right now. I'll leave it at the top right of the screen, but I do not need to go and waste probably like an hour or two just walking to a place to kill some zombies. It's not worth it. Really isn't. That was not a good place to loot. I'm gonna loot this house right here because I actually know this house quite well. Why do I know this house? Because I used to live in it before I had a good computer on Navisgain. I used to live in it right by the farmhouse, and before they changed farming and kind of made it better or and or worse, I had a lot of crops. I made probably the best base I had, had ever made. And yeah, that world's just gone. I don't remember what happened to it. Really? Old cash? It's paper now. I leveled up to level 5 and I got another loot bag. I promise I'm not cheating. Mainly because I don't know how. Junk turret parts. Yeah, I got those. I don't really need them right now. But I got some food and water and painkillers from that loot bag, so that's what's going to keep me alive. Loot bags. Thought there was something there because it was a change in texture, but I guess not. That's disappointing. Alright, we finally got to the loot of this house. I mean, took a little bit. Took a little bit longer than I was hoping. But we're fine. It could have went a lot worse. And we don't even have to unlock this chest. It's already unlocked. And we got double barrel shotgun. Got some ammo. Got more explosives. Got some of that crap. Got some of this good stuff. Iron gloves. I should probably wear those. Scrap that. I got silver nuggets. I can sell those eventually. And structural brace. I can put that on a my stone axe. Why? Because it just, you know, I have to repair it less. That's about it. And hopefully we get some good guns in here. Oh yeah, we got some good guns. We got an AK-47. That's pretty nice. That's prob- that is my most used gun in Alpha 18. AK-47. It's pretty good. Obviously it has kind of some flaws, but it has a lot of ammo, so if you need to just kill a whole bunch of zombies real quick, it's probably a good option. You know, while I'm here, I might as well loot this playground. I'm gonna, you know, loot this bird's nest first, but yeah. This playground. It's just here, 
it's real close to my house. My house is right there on the other side of that small garage. And I hope that this playground has something good to offer. Like coal. Yeah, uh, no, charred meat, free meat, so take that. Trash can. Yeah, it's not good stuff. Trash. Glue, I mean, at sewing kit. Guess I'll take those. So I think this playground truly only has one good thing at it. It has a slide. Let's go down the slide. I, I'm pushing W. I'm pushing W. Okay, I, I teleported up. Okay. We, 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 we. Uh, okay, you don't slide. You just kind of walk up the thing. And you just kind of walk back down. That's disappointing. Game, come on. I want slide mechanics. Purposely for this one reason. This is the only reason we want slide mechanics. It's the only reason. And swings, I don't even know if they work. I mean, I guess I can kind of go on them. What happens if I break them? They're steel. Got it. Get rid of that sand. Apparently, the bottom of, you know, the seat of swings are made of steel or iron, apparently. I did not know that. I thought they were made of rubber and plastic. Alright, so I have put everything I've looted into this one chest. This chest is a freaking mess. I mean, look at it. I have three hunting rifles. Should probably get rid of some of those, but this chest is a mess. There is garbage everywhere. Nothing's sorted. I don't know where anything is. So, typically in Seven Days to Die, similar to my Minecraft, like, chest sorting system I have six different chests count them six now I don't know if I can fit six here one two three four five I kinda can I just have to break something but that's fine because uh huh he went the wrong way that's fine we're gonna put them all the wrong way just for the hell of it yeah hell get it ha huh? so funny laugh but no so I have six chests Five are gonna go here because it fits nicely, and then one can just kind of, I guess, go there. And now I'm just gonna grab a whole bunch of random crap from this. We'll just grab everything as I can. I just press R, and now we start putting stuff in the chests. For example, this one is going to be stuff that I give to the trader, which looks like nothing in here. Nope. Okay. Next one. This is food and medicine. Eventually, if I get so much food and medicine, I split up the two. But for now, it's just food and medicine. And yes, rotting flesh is counted as food. You can eat it. Broken glass, however, does not count as food. Because you can't eat it. But it instantly kills you. <laughs> Next up, we have the materials chests, such as bone, cloth fragment, bottle acid, brass, cement, clay soil, cloth. Seeds, because I'd guess. Generator bank, because I don't know where else to put it. Potted plant, sure. We need to put this aloe vera seed in here, even though I can't plant it right now. Next up is tools. So, torch. And that's it for now. Well, we'll put the uh, explosives go in, you know. Firearms, and which go here. Firearms and ammo and, well, bows, crossbows. I'll go right there. We'll split that up just for the heck of it. And then the last one will be armor or clothing and items like that. We'll grab all that. And now we'll go sorting again. What goes in here? To be honest, that. And that. I don't. I have not once used military armor parts. So I'm just going to sell them to the trader because they sell for 40 bucks. 40 like coins a piece. I don't see that that's a bad deal. Also, my game keeps lagging whenever I open up a chest. And I don't like it. I don't know why. Please help. Put some more stuff in the chest. Glass jars go in food and water and, you know, food, water, medicine. Self-explanatory. You put water in the bottles. Duh. Repair kits, they actually go in the tools. Believe it or not. Same with that. Engine, they just go in materials. All of this goes into materials. Yes, it does. Lockpick, no nope, lockpick is a tool, but I'll actually keep that on me because I can use them at times. Silver nugget, that goes in the trader chest because obviously, you only thing you can do with them is sell them to the trader, or trash them on the ground. 
it there's literally no other use I'm gonna keep this cooking pot because I will eventually need it to probably craft a chemistry station if I ever get that far because I'll probably need to craft gasoline eventually I'll take these waters and I can put them in here I thought I heard a zombie footstep I thought maybe not maybe I'm just crazy we're good okay drink the water eat the old sandwich I regret nothing and now well the sun is getting kinda low in the sky it's what seven o'clock it's not bad it really isn't I mean it is kinda late I should probably go looting a bit more hopefully I can find something you know what there's an a like a destroyed house there we'll just go loot that real quick and hopefully find something of value oh ho, ho, something of value all right a level three steel pickaxe I haven't even got one of these on the worlds that a world that I have played for like 10 hours already that's nice Oh shit! Oh shit! I found something value! I found something value! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh god! That actually scared the crap out of me. I just saw stuff and I was like, I saw bodies and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna break them up. I need the, you know, rotten flesh and nitrate powder. And then a freaking bear attacks me. Oh boy. Whew. Holy shit. We're good. Well, I guess I'm getting some rotting flesh. Whew, boy. Anything of value down its cave, I'm assuming. I mean, I guess it's hoarding food, which... Why did it have a shamway sealed crate? That doesn't make sense. It's a bear, but whatever. And it only had glass bottles in it. Now I know why the bear was hoarding it, because it already ate the dang food. Why did it bring this here? Okay. Just broke. Well, I think that's a good note to end this episode on, with a nice jump scare for myself, and maybe you guys too. I doubt it though. My heart is still beating relatively fast. So, I hope you enjoyed this second episode, even though it was kinda dull. It's kinda just mostly looting, because that's kinda what 7 Days to Die is in like the real early game. You just kinda loot, because you need to, or else you're gonna die of starvation. So, I hope you enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I shall see you next episode. Adios.